Hendrix of Randy takes a closer look at the U.S. housing market. Mike Vinacquas is the proud owner of a brand new one bedroom condominium. Walk in closet. He sold his tri level home and parted with many of his possessions. I had planned on staying there, and it was more of a snap decision. I just looked around me. I go, I don't want this anymore. It's a scenario being repeated across America. Interest rates are low, housing prices are high. Home buyers are taking advantage of market conditions to move into new developments like this adult community in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. When they were able to start selling their homes at a price that they found acceptable, then they started moving here. How times have changed in the U.S. The recession dealt a blow to the housing industry. Now the economy has come back and families are snapping up new homes in job-rich parts of the country. I guess you could call it a boom, but we're not anywhere near back to our um, historic high with far as building permits being pulled. Those 20,000 permits along Colorado's Front Range just a few years ago has given way to a 10,000 permit per year pace, a healthy number, but not nearly enough to satisfy the demand for new homes. Inventory is way behind demand and will be for quite some time. Home builders are feeling the pinch. There's a shortage of labor. That's part of it. Finance is part of it. Developer Greg Fulton says it's still tough to get bank loans. And a serious lack of trained, experienced workers slows down construction. What we build now in eight months, we used to be able to do in six. The result is that in places like the Red Hot Stapleton neighborhood in Denver, realtors have a third of the new home inventory they need to satisfy prospective buyers. They cannot build them fast enough. I mean, if you were to put a house on a shelf, it would fly off. It's just going that fast. There are at least three buyers for each home that's for sale now, says builder David Jackson. He predicts the housing industry will continue to thrive. It's going to be very strong. It's not going to be bullish, but uh, there will be a lot of growth in the market. And lots of traffic in new neighborhoods for the foreseeable future. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.